Now as you can see, these plants look pretty good. I got a romaine shooting up here. There's still nothing in this pot. This was an experiment here. I just dropped some seeds in to see what they do. I think they ended up just, just, they didn't take. I don't have good luck just putting seeds directly into rock and then having them grow. So I start them separately and then put them in the aquaponics. That's where I have the best luck. That's how all these were started. Here's the, the two quote unquote cabbages that you've seen before. One of, uh, something I realized is I was lied to <laughs> or something happened because these are not cabbages. These look just like spinach to me and I could have swore that I was given cabbage and told it was cabbage for my experiment here. This is the rope one and another thing that I want to update you on is yes this is the rope one that I said oh these will never come up. Well as you can see three come up out of this one and I put five seeds in originally. This one here, with the cloth, it had two come up. I started watching them pop out. I'm like, ooh, cabbage. And then the leaves got longer and longer. I'm like, ooh, cabbage. And then they got really long. And I'm like, ooh, that's a weird form of cabbage. That's not cabbage. <laughs> so, yeah, spinach. Oh, well. Okay, we're taking a look here at the uh, little cabbages that were in the... Uh jiffy greenhouse this is done by the paper towel method as you can see that they're definitely not as uh, advanced these plants as the ones that are done by the uh, wicking method unfortunately the test was kind of skewed from the beginning because I thought I was working with cabbage on both ends so further testing is going to be needed I'm gonna run some more tests on both methods and I'll keep you up to date 